Hi everyone, Brett back out to do scale model. I'm going to do a spur review. This time, the highly anticipated limited edition Desert Bay Tornado kit. Beautiful box art. I hope they do a print of that. So in this kit, you get eight Desert Babe options. And there are no extra sprues that Edward sometimes sells. They've been discontinued because they all sold out. And this is going to be hard to get to because I think they're sold out already. But, there you go. You can find them at various stores, I think. Let me double check. Here. If they're still available at one of the places. So yes, Screw Brothers still has them for $75. And Ravel Plastic Parts, which I'm told are pretty good. Decals for eight markings. Edward Brad and Seats and Wheels, Photo Etch, and Painting Mask. So, let's check out this beautiful kit. I have not opened it yet. And I'm having trouble opening it now. One bag of sprues that look, can't tell if they're individually wrapped or not. Resin, resin, decals, instructions, PE mask. So, let's open this great big bag right here and see if they're individually wrapped. And, I'm going to tighten this bag. They are individually wrapped, or at least they're wrapped a couple in each bag. I don't think I need that bag anymore. So, looks like about 14 sprues. Like I said, they're bagged in multiples. At least they're not all bagged together. Let's start here. So we got the lower part of the fuselage, the nose, the engines, the th reverse thruster buckets, a couple of pylons. Looking really good. As I said, I've heard this goes together really well. Um, Nathan over at Flory's site has built this and said it went together well. If you remember Flores, I think he's got an actual build of this going right now. He's got the build of some tornado going right now. But as you can see, nice detail. Projector pins are all. You may have to clean up some of these to get the cockpit in. Inside of the engine's looking good. Beautiful aircraft. I built one. It's actually on one of my pages is my um, screensaver. I built one with aftermarket decals. And there's the top part of the fuselage. This goes over the engines as part of the tail. Some more pylons. Looking good. And a couple more pylons. You may have to Sand these away to get them to fit right because these do stick up. And these look like the bags for the wing fold area. And this is probably for the under part that makes it a GR1. This is a GR1, right? I'm pretty sure, but I'll check the instructions. And here, looks like elevators. Again, check these. Looks like they were sanded a little, but they are still pretty well raised. We need to send them more. There's the nose cone. One piece, fill with weight. Hopefully the instructions say how much weight. A very nice detail in there. And the last one for this bag is 
get another one of these for the other version. So apparently this kid has two versions. Not sure if you're worried about building either one, but maybe for a different one. Like I said, there are no over trees from Edward for this kit. So, you either have to find the old Ravel DR1 to use some more decal schemes, or hopefully you can find another one of these. Alright, we got wings. And we've got intakes, and we've got a cockpit, and looks like a wheel well, we got instrument panels, the wings are movable, posable, and so are the flaps, lats, and speed brakes. I believe these are speed brakes. But again, very nice detail. Again, very highly raised ejector pin marks, but you're going to want to touch on, dry fit your wings, clean up as you need to. But great detail. And there's your cockpit with side do all detail. And there's a photo itch, of course. You're going to replace some of that probably. Instrument panel. Good detail inside of there. So there's your wings. Here is your tail. One of your tails. No, it only has one tail. Sorry. Here's your tail. And your afterburner ring, and your first stage compressor fan, and there's your front instrument panel, and your landing gear struts, which are two piece for this one. And there are your reverse thruster parts, flaps, ailerons, wheel wells. This says 2014 Ravel 148 Tornado, Ravel Germany. 2014 was before the whole bankruptcy thing happened. In good detail, again, these are going to be cleaned up. Keep that in mind. All these surfaces that mate to one another are going to be cleaned up for your wing fold. There's a bunch of flash right there. But that's just going to come right off. Just like that. No more flash. There's your inside your wheel well detail. Alright. And intakes. I guess this top of the fuselage. Intakes. Actually, here they did do a good job. There is no ejector pin marks inside of these. Or inside of these. Very nice job on the intakes, Ravel. I hear assembling the with the flaps down is kind of a pain. I think there's some videos online discussing it. So keep that in mind. Uh, be careful removing these parts so you don't break them. There's your good rivet and panel line detail. Intakes. Clean, neat. I think I have to worry about the seam line. Okay, next we've got some tanks, wheels, afterburner rings. All of the above. Of course, these are taped, not stapled. Oops, let me get this out of the way. Three sprues in here. Fuel tank, missiles, tires, no weight on wheels. Coming in two halves. Antennas, pitot tubes, pylons. Not a lot of flash, a lot of good detail. Both sides. 
bigger fuel tank with fins. Here we have the ejector seats, but we also get a resin one, so you may not use these. Up to you, front wheel. Nicely molded with seat belts in there, if that's your style of doing it. All right. This one is matching to the other one, so you get doubles of all those. Clear parts. Scuff on here, but no biggie. No seam line, of course, because you got the detonator cord running through there. No seam line on the front. Looking pretty clear and good. I'm okay with that. Now we got some of the Edward bonus parts. We got the wheels, which so you don't have to use the kit ones. These do have weight on wheels, and it's like they say Goodyear. This looks like a seat cushion, and wheels with the weight on the bottom. Center hubs, brake detail, front wheels, again, weight on bottom and good wording on them. back so they don't get damaged. Two seat cushions. Here are the actual resin seats and some tiny little bits. So there's your very good fully assembled resin seat detail. When we look at the photo edge, you'll see there are seat belts there. These are some of the pull handles and side detail of the seats. You have to carefully cut off and clean up. Two of those. One of the handles is already broken off, hopefully cleanly. And then some more side seat detail. And some more. This thing with resin parts, the tiny ones do break sometimes. All right, a mask set, die cut, no sense looking at that. Here's your color photo etch for the cockpit. You have to match this to the inside of the cockpit walls. Shouldn't be too hard. And then of course you've got seat belts, harness the grab handle. So hopefully these can replace the broken one that was in the resin. Clear acetate over here, some engine details, some fuselage detail, some brackets. And what you really want to see, the decals, which being Edward, they're in a sealed bag. Try to figure out how to get them out. One sheet of decals. It doesn't seem right, but there's another one in here somewhere. These are the Desert Babe decals. Not a lot of extra carrier film. Our rope looks legitimate. Looks like what you would expect from a combat aircraft. There's all your Desert Babes. Now, if you're lucky enough to get some of the overtrees or have the old rebel kits, you can build all six. I'm not that lucky. <sighs> Alright, let's look in the instructions and see if there are more decals inside.
because I don't see any insignia decals. Yes, I don't see any insignia decals. I have to get a hold of Edward and see where my decal sheet is for the insignia. Or maybe it is a complete set. Because I don't see. Yeah, there's some on the wings. Oh, yep, there are right here. I'm wrong. They're all on there. That's close. Typically nice Edward instructions, not really busy like the Ravel ones were. Screw map, starting with the cockpit and the wheel wells. Where you put your PE. Red is what you have to remove to be replaced with the PE if you choose to use it. Seats going in, instrument panel, engine intakes. Wings, do not glue certain parts, keep an eye on that. Wings going on, if you want them folded, it looks like you need to cut part of it out. If you're going to keep them straight, you don't cut that out. Keep that in mind. If you're going to keep them moving, I guess you have to cut it out. Bottom and top fuselage going on. Some more do not glue. More do not glue, because you can move the reverse thrusters, it looks like. There's that engine detail for the back. Your nose, don't forget to add weight. Doesn't say how much weight. This says don't forget to add it. So I just fill it up. It's better that than nothing at all. There are all the parts for the front ailerons. Your actuators. And here are all the parts you're going to need to do the flaps. Get them set right. They don't just droop, they extend. There's your controls for if you want the reverse thrusters opened or closed. Your choice. I love how a tornado's got that smoke on the back of it. Landing gear, two as going together, have to clean up a seam line. Putting them in, so you can do that after you're painting, fortunately. And PE parts for the displays. Tail hook, parts for the canopy. Mirrors, canopy closed, canopy open, two different ways. More PE parts for antennas, putting the pylons together, putting the tanks and the weapons together, decaling the weapons and the tanks, how to use your masking. I did not see weapons. There we go. Weapons will call out. How you putting your tanks and your missiles on. Okay. Zoom in a little bit for this. Foxy Killer. It's got the shark mouth on it. Awesome Annie. Uh, armored Charmer. Gulf Killer. Another shark mouth. Check six. one doesn't really have a name, just a girl. This is the box art one, Luscious Lizzie. And Helen, who also has Snoopy riding a missile on the other side. There you have it. Edward's Desert Babe Kit. Get it while you can, because it's going fast and secondary market's going to mark it up big time. Thanks for watching. Sit your ass in the chair, build a model. Any model. Why not this one?